Hi, it's Amanda from Marketing with Moxie, and today is Tip Tuesday, and I'm coming at you with tips on how to get your Instagram or Facebook page verified. So first of all, let's talk about what does it mean to be verified. If you've ever been scrolling around on Instagram or looking around on Facebook and you've seen a profile with a little blue check mark, that means it's a verified profile. What does it mean if it's verified? Well, Instagram or Facebook will only verify profiles that are an authentic presence on the platform. So this means somebody like a public figure or a celebrity or a notable brand. So not just anybody can get the verified badge. This means if you're a general interest account, like say you're a meme account and you're just posting hilarious cat memes, you probably are not going to qualify to be verified. Okay, let's talk about how to get verified. So to get verified, first steps, we'll talk about on Instagram first, but the process is very similar on Facebook. When you're in the Instagram app, you're going to go to your profile and you're going to tap that little, what's called a hamburger icon. It's the three horizontal lines. It's called a hamburger because it's like the top line's the bun, the middle line's the burger, and the bottom line is another bun, if you've ever wondered why it's called that. Then you'll tap the little circle icon and go into your settings, then account, and then you'll tap request verification. And there's a form for you to fill out there. Now the same process holds true for your Facebook page. Your personal profile cannot be verified on Facebook. It's only Facebook pages. So on this form, you're going to enter your full name and you're going to provide government issued identification of some sort because you're just trying to demonstrate that you are who you say you are which kind of leads us into the requirements that you have to meet in order to get that little blue check mark. So here they are. First and foremost, your, your profile on Facebook or Instagram has to be following the terms of use and the community guidelines. So you have to be a community player on the platform. This means you're posting content that's within the guidelines and you're not abusing the platform. You know, you're posting a whole bunch of clickbait or you're trying to... Um, trick people into getting your product or something like that, like a bait and switch type thing. But then there are four other considerations that Instagram and Facebook both have when they're reviewing applications to hand out that verification badge. And here they are. The first one is authenticity, which means your account has to represent a real person, a registered business, or an entity of a business. So this means you're a celebrity or sometimes an influencer or you're a global or national brand or you're some kind of entity like perhaps a nonprofit or something like that. The second qualification is you must be unique. So your account has to be a unique presence of the person or business that it represents. So again, this goes back to like the general interest accounts that are like meme accounts or those types of things. They're not going to qualify because they're not unique. It's It's a... Thing that's posting a whole bunch of content of other people's content. The third requirement is that your profile must be complete. This means that your account has to be public, especially on Instagram. You have a bio totally filled out. You've got a profile photo that's of you or that's of your brand or kind of like leads into that whole authenticity thing. And then you've got to have at least one post. Of course, if you're regularly posting content, that is much more in your favor. Your profile also cannot contain any kind of like add me links or indicators that you do like a follow for follow type scheme. And then the last requirement is that your account or your profile has to be notable. So you've got to be well known or highly searched for and not because you're promoting ads of yourself, but because you're genuinely appearing all over the place, like in the news or something like that. Be, and the reason that this is important is because this kind of leads into why Instagram or Facebook will ultimately decide to award a verification badge. It's simply to ensure that the public doesn't get confused about who the real person is versus who maybe impersonation accounts might be. So this notable requirement is really, I would say, the very most important requirement. So if in the past your brand or your business or if you're an influencer, you've applied to have that badge and you haven't received it, chances are you don't have that Note, notability factor, which not to say you aren't popular, but it's more that there are people impersonating you. You don't have a big enough presence in the news to where it might be confusing if there were a bunch of other accounts similar to you, that type of thing. All right. Now, so what happens after you apply for that badge? 
You'll wait about 30 days before you finally hear something. You might hear something sooner, but it's usually within 30 days you should hear something. And they'll let you know if you've gotten that badge or not. If you haven't gotten the badge, you can reapply 30 days later once they've let you know if you got it or not. Or you can just kind of let it go because, again, you'll have to kind of think back through those four qualifying factors, particularly that notability one. And if you don't feel like you have it, then you don't need to really apply for the badge because it's not going to really do anything for you. Now, here's a couple other final notes. So you might get the badge on Facebook and you might not get it on Instagram. This doesn't have anything to do with like your brand overall. It could just mean that on Facebook, there's a larger likelihood of people being confused by which account is real, which account is fake versus Instagram. It's more obvious. And then the other thing to consider is having that verification badge does not mean that you get more engagement or that you're favored more in the algorithm. That is not a ranking factor at all. This is simply a way for Instagram and Facebook to help the public, us people consuming content, understand who is the true celebrity, who's the true brand or who's the true figure versus people who are impersonating those accounts. That's really all it is. So that's it. If you want to try to get verified, you can go through those steps. And hopefully this was helpful for you and I'll see you next week with another tip.